you my science experiment. My experiment is called marbled milk. This science experiment demonstrates concepts in physics and chemistry. My problem is that when you take a corn swab and dip it in dish detergent and place it in a bowl of milk that has food coloring, how come there is a pretty pattern in the milk with all the colors? My original hypothesis was incorrect. I thought that the corn swab would act as a stirrer and all the colors in the milk would dissolve. How wrong was I? Let us find out why. Let us find out why I was wrong. The materials we have in this experiment are whole milk or 2%, corn swabs, dish detergent, food coloring, and a bowl to pour the milk in. Take, take milk and pour it in a bowl. food coloring to the milk. Now take a corn swab and dip it into dish detergent. Now I'm going to place the corn swab into the milk. Be prepared to see what's going to happen. Take the 4th of July in a bowl of milk. And if you move it, you can see pretty patterns occur wherever I move. Let us find out why this happens. Milk is mostly water, but it also contains vitamins, minerals, protein, and droplets of fat. Fat and protein are sensitive to changes in the milk. When you add soap, the weak chemical bonds that hold up fat and protein are altered. The molecules of fat and protein blend, roll, twist, and twirl in all directions. The food coloring molecules are bumped and shoved to the edges, providing an easy way to observe the invisible activity. There is another reason the colors explode the way they do. Since milk is mostly water, it has surface tension, just like water. When you add food coloring to the milk, the food coloring molecules tend to stay put. Liquid soap wrecks the surface tension, allowing the colors to zing through the milk. To conclude, miscibility and surface tension are two very important properties of liquids. Miscibility is the mixing of two things together and is not to be confused with solubility where a substance dissolves in another. Surface tension is a property of a liquid that allows it to resist an external force. Examples of surface tension are paper floating on water and insects walking on water such as water stripes. I hope you like my experiment and like the concept behind it. Thank you.